Hey everybody, just before we start the video, I want to give a quick shout out to Tragic the Garnering. He shared our last week's video on his community page, so a whole bunch of new people have seen the video, they've subscribed. Thank you very much, Tragic. Hey everybody, welcome back to MTG Killer Bees. Today we're doing another Is It Worth It episode, and we all know the answer is no. <laughs> except, <We're> gonna... <laughs> except last episode, that was amazing. Well, in this particular case, everybody knows the answer is no. no but, Based on where you if you've from. never seen one of these, this is a mystery cube. Basically, you can buy these at Walmart or Target, and they are $29.99, and basically it's the warehouse floor sweepings. So... Somebody broke a box open, and they didn't know what to do with it, so they stick it in this little cube and sell it... Dumbasses like us. Exactly. The company that supplies Magic Cards to Walmart and Target is the same company. So I assume what happens is whenever somebody breaks a box open in the warehouse, they scoop this crap up and they throw it in a mystery cube and sell it to suckers like us. Uh, let's see. Hey. Dominari, so you get, Ixalan. You get two packs. In this one, you get two packs, and we've got... Uh, what, five... Sealed. It looks like they're probably pre condex Yeah, these are definitely out. I guess these. Oh, yeah, these probably are. And we got oh. the That's bristling good. Hydra as a the special foil card. Ooh. All right, so what do you want to start with? Oh, what do we got there? Okay. So oh, those are, I believe those are intro decks. Oh. Let's go through those do these? first. All right. Or, you know what? I, hmm. They might be... I don't know what that set symbol is. We I might mean, have to look it up. Yeah. You want to check quick? Sure. Okay. So we looked that symbol up. It's the Welcome Decks from 2016. So they're basically for intro to new players. Yeah. Um, it's going to be all garbage. Soul the Harvest... Here, uh, there's some land in there. Let's see if we got any more. This is just one rare per deck. Nah, uh, I got an incremental growth, uncommon, blighted woodland, gloom widow is uncommon, rot shambler. Uh, yeah, that was the one rare, so. Woo! Let's check this quick just in case, but I'm guessing probably not. Aegis Angel was the rare on that one. Commons. I assume it's one rare and, per. It must be. Yeah, there's about the same amount of uncommons in there, so. I mean, they're just decks to and showing new people the game. They're almost certainly not worth anything, though. No, that one was like 20 cents that I checked, so. And Nightmare was the rare for that one. Of course, Nightmare, iconic card. But in this day and age, it's not very good. Okay. Yep, it was a bust. Okay. All right. So, so what are these? We'll open them up. Which this one? Is this is a... Oath of the Gate Watch, I think. Is that Addison restored? No, it's not. It's no, not it might be in one of the Innistrads. I don't know. Munda's Vanguard is that one. Okay. Uh, we do have another rare. Duran is Chosen. Uh, you yeah, know, quite a few uncommons in this one. Vampire deck. Right up your alley. I'm assuming this is a pre-con deck. Yeah, yeah, it is. Are they all allies? Uh, there were some vampires and allies, so it's an interesting well, combination. That is, that vampire is an ally. Oh, it is. I didn't even see that. Yeah, this is an ally deck. Was this angels versus allies, maybe? No. And they lost the packaging? Probably. Packaging got damaged. Let's check. All right. 
I'm just guessing that's a thing, but it would make sense. Swing blade angels. Because these are angels. Whoops. There we go. Devil's Playground is the second one on that. I mean, this isn't a bad ally deck for what you're getting, I guess, but it's, again, it's for... If you're playing it right out of the box, it's basically intro level. Yeah. So it's two rares per deck, it looks it like. It must be, yeah. Um, these are a lot of uncommons in there, though, so... It'd be, yeah, it's good for intro. Okay. Well, let's go to the packs. Maybe we'll get something good. All right, let's do Ixalan first. Come on. Is, is that first Ixalan or is that Rivals? It's the first Ixalan. Okay. I don't remember what's in there that's good, if anything. And we have Kopala, Warden of Waves. Legendary Merfolk. Hmm. Treasure token. Land. Spells your opponents cast. The target of Merfolk you control costs two more to cast. Okay, so if you're Merfolk Tribal, that's good. If you're the Professor, he loves Merfolk. Well, let's open Dominaria. Didn't we actually play a Merfolk Tribal deck from Card Kingdom during one of our videos? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Go back and look, everybody. <laughs> I think we did. I played a Vampire I, Tribal, I know. I think I was playing a Merfolk. Um, I do remember Card Kingdom was very good with their Precon decks. Hey, Lich's Mastery. Hmm, okay. Oh, good. What's so, the... We got the emblem. Whoa, the Jaya emblem. Who cares? And Urgros, <laughs> the empty one. Ah, oh, lame. That thing sucks. Ugh. So, Ugh. there you go. You spent $30 on a crappy target box. Well, let, let's, <laughs> let's scan it up, see what we got. All right, so we scan. <laughs> of course, there's nothing worthwhile in there. Uh, two ninety eight or something like that. So so we basically made close to three bucks, which means we got a tenth of what we paid for <laughs> for it. So is it worth it? No, no, of course not. If you see this fucking crap at Walmart or Target, do not buy it. Unless I you can tell there's something really good in there. I, I will. I will it. make one exception. I've heard people find commander decks in these so if you look at one and you see a big fat deck sealed in plastic that looks like it's a hundred cards you might as well take roll the dice on that pick it up it could be an old commander set and those are definitely worth 30 bucks or more but if you just pick one up and you see like we saw five sealed decks plus two packs don't buy that crap until next time Say bye, honeybee. Bye, honeybee. Those are some killer bees.